Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we'll see two things. First, how to remove out of stock variants and two, how to link options together. Let me show you right away what that means with an end result. Here's an example. In this case, I have two options. So option number one is for what model. I have two model, 504, 505. In 504, I have only two sizes available. If I change the model to 505, I have only one left because obviously the other one is out of stock for this model. And we can have the same with, with a single option like this example here. Normally I have three choices over here. I have 504, 505, and 506, but 505 is currently out of stock, so I don't want to show it. So here's what my standard team will look like um, before doing the customization. So if I select 505, just to have a sold out um, notice over here, and I cannot add it to, uh, to the cart, uh, but that's not what we want. I don't think it looks nice. So let's, let's go ahead and, and remove it from, from the drop down. We're going to start with the, with the single product, with the, the single option product first, and then we're going to do the rest. Please go ahead and download the file that I have a, a link in the description. It's going to link you to a Google Drive uh, file. Please download that. I have it over here. So first we need to find this, uh, this code, this beginning of the code, uh, which generates the drop down menus of the options. Normally it will be in your product file, product template file, or the theme. Um, but sometimes uh, it may be in another file, like in my case over here. So what I will normally do is go in your in, in your admin, then online store themes, click on the three dots, edit HTML, CSS, copy it and see first if you can find it in product that liquid command F or control F to find to do a search I don't have it here then look if it's not in the main layout team that liquid same thing, it's not here. What you will have to do if this is your case also, go back to product and look, uh, search for include. I'm in caps, I don't know if it's gonna find it. No, let's do include. I have an include here, social buttons, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Include product images, neither. Include product loop, maybe. Pretty sure. Ah, here. Include product form. Um, this is where we want to go and take a look if we don't find our um, Shopify option selectors because I'm, I, I know that's where you have uh, the drop downs for, for the options. So let's go ahead and find it over here. It will be in your snippets. Product form, just click on it. And if we do again our search, voila. There it is. So this is what we need to find. It will look something like this. Now, pretty simple. All you have to do in order to 
in, in order to remove variants that are out of stock from a single option product go back to the code and you have it right here is the first one just copy you will need to paste it right after this line finish so if I go at the end of the line you'll need to paste it right after this section so just I'm gonna click enter paste it over here let me just make them a little bit nicer something like that and as usual it's always a good thing to comment them in this case because we're inside of a script JavaScript you'll need to comment it with those kind of bars so let's put the same as here So we're good to go with that. Just click save. Let's go back over here. If we refresh and 505, it's gone. So this works perfectly for single option products. But if we have one with two or more options, uh, the same will not work. So in this one, 505, I know I only have one in stock. Um, if we go and take a look at it. See, 505, I only have the 46 millimeters that it's available. None of the other ones, but it still shows me the other ones. And if I, actually, if I click on it, unavailable unavailable so let's go ahead and change that we uh, we need to go back exactly to the same place where we were in my case it's product form in your case it may be product team or another file uh, but make sure again you have you you're in this section of the code where where it starts with Shopify option uh, selector so above where we started where, where we added the last code let's just add a new one which is this one over here so again let's copy it Don't forget the comment so we know what what it is I'm gonna use exactly the same thing sorry okay so that's good we will save this we now need to create a new snippet so just just click on it and we will call it same as what I have here include linked options linked options so just copy this paste it and for this one you will need to go ahead in in, in the comment not in the comments but in the description of the video and go uh, to the link that I posted there also you'll go to uh, to the github where you can just copy everything here and paste it in the new snippet that we created what i will do is just click on raw um, you can do select all copy go back paste it and save one last thing we have to do is uh, include 
this uh, this file they we need to tell the the team to include that file in 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 all our our pages so just go in team at the bottom just before the body close go back again to the code you will need to add exactly this and actually let's copy everything and we will add it right here so now click save let's go and refresh this 505 I have only one and the beauty of it is if I select 504 it will show me the two ones available for 504 as you can see here 504 I have 46 and 48 that are available I do have 44 but it's out of stock and I don't want to show it so that's it if you guys have any questions please uh, don't forget you can use the comment section ask me anything I will uh, I will answer them and uh, I hope I hope it works for you thank you